Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to this week's episode, I guess you'd call it, of Calling Eve. We've all been sick this week at home. It's, um, it's February, and in Sweden, people just generally admit to this being the month that everybody's homesick with their kids. Vabruari is what we call it. it there is just no good translation, so I'm not even going to try. But I thought that I would share some stuff with you. This week has been a challenge. It's been, uh, it hasn't exactly panned out the way that you would want it to, health-wise, for everybody in this family. And um, we're going through several trials when it comes to finding peace and harmony <laughs> in our home situation. I thought that I would give you guys a, uh, a, um, a tip in regards to books that I really think is, is really a great one. A few years back, actually, well, oh my gosh, I'm starting to feel old. It was a bunch of years back. I worked at a, um, preschool in Tennessee, uh, Mustard Seed Preschool. Love it. Love everybody there. And my amazing, uh, our amazing principal, Diana Beach, uh, suggested that we, or we had a book that we were supposed to read as staff that was really helpful as teachers. At that time, I didn't have kids of my own, so I've actually, I've revisited it, and um, it's called Parenting is Heart Work by Dr. Scott Taransky, Joanne Miller. It's really an amazing book in, in regards to reaching your children, not only in in regards to just discipline, you know, and, and rules, but finding the heart reasons that are behind behavior and um, helping them to, helping your, helping you as a parent to understand why your child does the things that they do and also um, also how to reach them on a heart level. So that's a really, really good book. And the other book that I really wanted to recommend, because as some of you might know, I have a child with ADHD, and with all the gifts and challenges that that entails, um, there is a book called The Explosive Child by Dr. Green. I'm trying to... Ross Green. Dr. Ross Green. And it is such an amazing book when it comes to understanding children with um, ADHD, ADD, um, bipolar, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, understanding how their mind works, because it's not the same as as maybe for the rest of us, and also in regards to laying up a plan on how to how to um, build up strategies that will work for your home. So that is really, really a good one. And he also actually, because what we've been suffering through this week, or what we've been going through this week, has been um, challenges when it comes to school. And um, the school system is a very, you know, it is the way it is. Um, ten years after Dr. Ross Green wrote the book, The Explosive Child, which is geared towards parents, he wrote a book called Lost in School, which I would recommend for any teacher or parent as well, um, about how children with, um, with those problems and gifts, uh, how they, how, how their mind works, how they, how they think and how they feel and how they react to different things, because we don't always understand. That's just how it is. So among all of this, I did actually get my butt out of the house a little bit this week. Not a lot, but a bit. And, um, cause I've got a cold and I've had some health issues myself. But what was really fun was I went to, um, a really cool health store here in Stockholm in Solentuna called Worth It, which I love. They opened this summer and what they focus on is basically um, they do paleo, they do um, LCHF stuff and a lot of, um, I think they started out as a web store doing stevia and um, stevia drops and things like that and they do no sugar. They have so much, so much cool stuff. They actually do have a gym there and a little cafe area, and it's it's pretty cool. But so this summer, I actually got hooked on these paleo wraps, which I they're they're so awesome. These are really cool. They're like it's 
totally vegan. It's raw. It's, um, let's see the nutrition on these. It's carbs, six carbs per hundred grams, but geez Louise, you know, I think that's what it says now per wrap. But the, but the cool thing is that these are, they're wraps. The, these really, really do taste coconutty. So they're awesome. I had them, I did chicken wraps and stuff like that and then this summer, but they're also really cool for dessert stuff because they, because they do taste coconutty. They're kind of cool. But when I was there, I saw that they had a new flavor. This is turmeric. I haven't even opened this yet, so I don't know. I'll have to give you guys a review later and tell you what it tasted like, but uh, apparently this one's cool because it's turmeric. It's not as desserty, like not as sweet, but really looking forward to looking to trying that one. And it's gluten free for everybody that's staying away from gluten. They were so sweet. That's it's such a great place. Oh, 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 didn't I get? Yes, I got these two because I am a chocolate addict. They have sugar-free chocolate chips for anybody that's interested. They are so good. It's 72% dark chocolate. So it's a vegan, gluten-free, nut-free, dairy-free, and sweetened with xylitol. So that's good. Those are really cool for baking and stuff. And they were so sweet. They got me, um, I actually got a free bag, a free little tote is really cool live a life that's worth it which I think is really cool um, and here they had their homepage because they actually before they opened their store they started as a homepage so that would be worth it lifestyle dot se and um, and that's really a great place too for all your healthy food needs and all that stuff I'm really looking forward to summer I mean not only because it's really really snowy here but because they make their own ice cream in the summertime and it is Rumored to be quite delicious. I haven't actually tried it, but I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, so um, those were the health thingy dingies for the week. Oh, oh, I do have one last one that I don't want to forget. Argy. I got this from my sister. This is also from Forever Living, which both me and Mandy uh, sell stuff for because they're, they've got really cool aloe vera products and stuff like that. This is a nutritional supplement with... Uh, uh, L-arginine and vitamin complex which is really really awesome when you are if you work out if you need that extra vitamin energy kick and stuff like that it's it's really awesome this one has so much stuff in it you just you kind of you mix it in with water and just you know it's, it's me mixing my mixing noise uh, but this has uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin K2, D3, B6, B12, uh, folic acid, L-arginine or L-arginine, and uh, food extract. It's just, it's a, it's a kicker. It's really good for energy and uh, recovering after workout. Anyway, so um, I don't know. What I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit this week was... Um, what do we do when things don't turn out the way we plan? Um, what do we do when our story, the story that we find ourselves in, just isn't isn't the story that we would write if we got to choose? Um, I find that a lot of times that's sort of where we all end up. Um, we have plans, we have things that we want to do, we have dreams, and we we think we know what three months from now is going to look like, but it we don't always things things change things are um, things are constantly fluid and we're constantly subject to circumstance and also other people's choices and um, there's a lot of frustration that can build up because of that I know from experience with um, dealing with uh, my son's leukemia and and the ADHD just life in general when our when we had our car accident when um, just just a bunch of stuff these past few years that that have um really just felt like they came out of the blue and you're kind of going okay when is my quota of crap full <laughs> does it ever can we ever just get to this point where we're like okay we've been through crap have we filled our quota for the year of crap that would really be nice to feel like, okay, we can check that off and uh, now good stuff should be happening. Um, but life just doesn't work that way and it 
can be really, really frustrating. I think I've come to the point where I've realized that in order to be able to be happy, I need to not wait for it to happen. I need to not constantly feel like a victim to things that happen. We need to, as people, I think, just um, come to a place of surrender, but also a place of fighting. That, that might sound contradictory, but, um, but I really don't think that it is. I mean, it's a question of, of saying, okay, I'm, there's a certain amount of things that I have control over. Like, for example, my health. I, I don't have 100% control, but I can give myself the best, uh, the best, mm, what do you call it, photosynthesis, the best, mm, me and my Swinglish, um, I can put myself in a situation where I give myself the best outlook of things, you know, like, I will try to eat healthy, I will try to do this, I will try to do that, and hopefully that'll, that'll give me the groundwork that I need to live a healthy life. Then there are certain things that you just cannot can take, you know, control. And I think that it's, it's a, uh, it's an idea of of surrendering where you can't, surrendering and saying, okay, this is outside of my control. There's just no point in worrying about it and sending out and putting out energy that I'm not going to get back. And then saying, okay, well, these are the things that I do have control over, and I need to fight for it. So it's a balance of finding and surrendering every day. And um, I think that it's good to just sort of sit down and say, okay, I need to make a list. I love lists. Which is why I started um, my sister and my friend, Louise. Mandy and Louise. I love you girls. And, and now I got my husband, David, into it as well. Bullet journaling. This is my bullet journal. I love my sticker. Peace, happiness, and love. But, um, and there are so many cool, of course I have to decorate it as well, but there are so many good um, places you can check out bullet journaling. But just, you know, when it comes to organizing your life, and I might actually make a video on bullet journaling later, because I like it. Um, but it's a good place to combine lists. And what I was saying was, maybe you need to just sit down and make a list and say, okay, these are the issues that I'm having right now. These are my points of stress. These are my points of, these are my things of joy as well in my life. And just make a list and say, okay, which ones of these are fight for it and which ones are surrender it. Just lay it down. And okay, my phone just rang. <laughs> Sorry. What I was going to say was you need to make a list of, okay, these are things that I need to fight for. These are things that I need to just surrender. Um, and just lay that down and uh, pray for it, meditate on it, whatever you need to do, just to sort of be able to come to peace with that. That There are certain things that you need to let it go, you really do. And other things where you just need to, <laughs> you just need to suck it up and give it your all. Anyway, so that is more or less what I had to say. Um, Hope you guys have a really, really blessed weekend, and I'll see you guys next week.